Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Chloe and happy Friday! Friday! Um, it felt like a long week but a short week uh, all in the same time span. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know what I mean too. Uh, we had a short week. It was only four days but for some reason it just it was so busy. Um, so I mean the days went like that uh, which were really it was really nice. So now it's the weekend and I got home from work a little early. So just gonna go hang out with Hanky right there. Hi Hank, you good boy. With your little, what is that, an insect? A bug? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I got home a little early, which was nice. Everyone kind of like takes off from the office early on Friday. Um, if you really just don't schedule meetings on a Friday in the afternoon, <laughs> otherwise people get mad at you. Um, so. I'll probably take Hank on a little walk around to start off the weekend. It's actually so beautiful. Uh, as you can see with this natural lighting, <laughs> I was like, I have to stand over like by our windows and take advantage of it. Um, so yeah, you can kind of tell there's the light. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been super nice this week. Now it's been like in the forties, like 45 around there. Um, but it's just been, like so sunny, blue skies, we haven't seen it in so long. So it's just amazing, I love it. I hope that it continues on the weekend because I think everyone just needed that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go take Hank on a little walk into the dog park at our apartment unit. Uh, so he has some fresh air and stuff. But then uh, just waiting for Mark to get back home and we'll probably go to the gym um, and just hang out. Don't really know the plan yet. And then this weekend, I'm thinking it might be good to take Hank to uh, Magnuson Park over in Seattle, like up north a little more. It's this huge park. They have a nice dog park that's for specifically for big dogs and for little dogs, which is perfect for him. And I think he's finally getting like warmed up to like dog park, like the scene there and like what to do and stuff with like our little miniature one downstairs. and. He just loves dogs, loves dogs so much. He wants a friend. So I think that's on the agenda for the weekend and we'll see what else happens. So yeah, let's go take Hank out. Are you so ready? You so excited? <laughs> oh, and we got this new um, rug too. Before we had, it's kind of messy in here, sorry. <laughs> but before we had like a big white one and Hank just peed and pooed all over it. So it was disgusting. So we only got this one a couple weeks ago um from ikea and it's pretty nice do you like it so so while i'm showing you guys like differences in our apartment um since my last apartment video this is so like this used to be over by the entranceway this table and we wanted to get like a standing desk so we could work on our computers so mark like built this out and put um <laughs> these like wooden things down there to make it taller so well, makeshift so we can work and see the view, the flowers I got from Valentine's Day. Um, and then we ended up getting this great little uh, piece, little bench, little for putting your shoes on, little couch um, from West Elm. And it was on sale, love it. Uh, it's like a brass and a gray. And then we found this great little side table from a World Market Cost Plus. So super great. Hank likes them. Okay, I'm gonna stop with the tour and take you out to go see some friends. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Are you so excited? Come on. Come on. I'm coming. We got to the dog park and currently no friends for Hank. Just an empty one. Hank, where are your friends? Where are they? Where are your friends? Are you so sad? They were like 10 yesterday. So we just got in from the little, the little dog park area um, downstairs. When we first got down there, there was no, there were no dogs. Uh, then one dog came for like a little bit and Hank got to play um, with her. But didn't get that on video, but he had a good time. So now we're back up here and um, I'm just gonna work on editing some videos uh, for a little bit before Mark gets home. And then I also need to follow up with some people too um, for like wedding stuff. It's 
it's kind of crazy. It's like a full-time job, it feels like. Not a full -time, it's, it's like a part-time job, okay? <laughs> um, there's so many little things that go into it and all these details and just making sure people get back to you and trying to like lock down some dates and stuff. Uh, Mark and I are going, are going back to Arizona. Um, when are we going back? And then we have the first week of March, we're gonna go back. So uh, we just wanna like make sure we like meet with some people while we're down there that are kind of like key uh, people you'd want to meet with, like vendors for in person. So I'm just trying to lock that down right now. Um, and it's like a couple weeks out. So I know people are like busy, so I'm kind of stressed so people <laughs> reply and like getting things on the books. Uh, Cause it's, that's one of the things about, it's kind of hard to like coordinate when you're, you don't live there full time. You can't just like drop by whenever. So, we're gonna try and see if that will work. And he's biting my foot. Ow, Hank. Why? Why? Oh. And we need to work on training him some more this weekend. But yeah, I'm gonna work on that for a bit and then I'll tune in with you guys later. <laughs> Good morning, it's Saturday and we don't have a couch anymore. <laughs> we actually just got rid of it uh, this morning. Someone came and got it off Craigslist. And we've been wanting to sell it for a while and just get like a sectional because it would really look good in the space and something that's not leather is like what I want. <laughs> so that finally happened. We just like put it on like a week ago and we were like, we'll see if anyone bites and they did. So we're going couch shopping today. So that's what we're gonna do today. And then we're gonna go to the gym um, and yeah, just hopefully find a couch because a lot of places it takes a while to get like two to four weeks or something So hopefully we can find something soon because we really can't use our living room. <laughs> so wish us luck Hey everyone, it's Sunday. I'm um, sorry. I completely just cut off uh, the rest of Saturday's vlog uh, we went to like six different places couch shopping. We went to um, the Casala outlet, Dania, the Macy's outlet, full furniture line, Macy's. <laughs> um, where else did we go? We went to West Elm. We went to a bunch of different places. I like not even remembering everything now. This place like across the street from our house. Um, so it was such, such a full day, went to the gym and then went to the rest of the furniture places and it takes so much out of you. Um, furniture shopping, it's kind of crazy. I didn't really realize it would be that much, but we were exhausted and at the last location we found our couch. So very exciting. Here it is. I'm just gonna switch around to the couch we chose. And we got this actually on sale, on clearance uh, at the Macy's outlet uh, down in South Center. Such a good deal on this. Um, and it's everything we wanted. We wanted to have it be like sturdy so we can actually sit on it and not just like fall asleep. But it's also very cushy and have a sectional and or chase lounge area. So it fits the space really well. So we kind of just like reorganized it from this view. You can really see it just fits it really nice and it's very spacious. We moved the plants over there a bit and we put this chair here so we can you can turn and look out at the view. So it was a successful couch day. We were kind of worried because we didn't have a couch at all. We'd have to be on the floor. And then let's see, later today, I'm gonna go wedding dress shopping with my mom. So um, I'm not gonna show you guys anything that I try on, but I'll get a little snippet of the, the place I'm going to. I'm going to Lovely Bride, and I've heard it's um, just this cute like, little boutique-y um, place over in Greenwood, Finney Ridge area. So I'm very excited. This is the first time going wedding dress shopping ever. Um, and so I really just want to get a feel of what's out there and try in a bunch of different styles because I think I have like in my head what I want and what will look good on me. But I've heard so many times that you just have to go and like try it on and then people can change their mind instantly. So yeah, that should be fun. And I will let you guys know how it goes. Hey guys, okay, so just got back from dress shopping with my mom. 
uh, it was such like a magical experience. Um, I went there and uh, they, they were great there at Lovely Bride and the lady who did the consultation whole thing with me was super nice and helped out like every step of the way and because I had no idea really like what I wanted. Um, it's hard to tell like on the rack also with all the dresses like you'll see them and not like it but then you try it on and it's like a completely different story which is I mean makes sense like I did that with like clothes like and shopping but yeah it was just funny um but so what the lady did like the consultative like first part she asked me what I want to feel on my wedding day and I said romantic and whimsical <laughs> and it just came to my head but I'm not sure if that it was actually like what people would describe the dress like a certain dress as like what I had in my mind so I tried on a bunch of different ones um from like mermaid style to a-line I didn't try on a big ball ball gown because I knew I didn't want that um but I'm kind of am curious like I want to try one on in the future just for fun <laughs> so I have some more appointments booked um, I have definitely honed in on like an idea of the style um and like detailing that I'm looking for there were like the last two that I tried on I was like okay one of these like maybe could be it but I feel like I need to go and look at other um shops bridal salons to know for sure because I feel like you just have to do that otherwise I'll just wonder and yeah I just I don't want to regret anything I don't know it's like stressful everyone's like you'll know when you try on the dress you'll be like this is the one but like, do you really? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> so we'll see if um, I have that like feeling, but yeah, it's exciting. So we'll go, um, I have some other appointments booked in the next coming weeks as well. So exciting, exciting. I'm gonna tune out for this vlog, this weekend vlog, and I will catch you guys next time. See ya.